welcome back to Pure Power Panda. Let's dive into my June favorites 2016. My first favorite is this month a person and that is Arnold Schwarzenegger, who if you didn't know is not just a former bodybuilder or the former governor of California, he's also a movie star so he has a tremendous reach and he decided to cut down on his meat consumption and he actually partnered up with James Cameron who's on the same path and they both just did a trailer which basically promotes a diet that is low in animal products. The more I went to do my physical, the more doctors started stressing, he says Arnold you got to get off meat. So I'm slowly uh, getting off mm -hmm. meat and they tell you that I feel fantastic. The number one thing that you can do is to just stop eating or cut down on your consumption of meat and dairy. Meat and dairy are not good for your body and they're not good for the environment. If they tell you to eat more meat to be strong, don't buy it. I just think that is the greatest thing ever because um, they are not doing that just for themselves. They're trying to get everyone else on the planet to join in and do the same thing. As far as I know, the trailer is not out yet, but at least you can watch the making of the trailer, which I will link uh, below in the info box. My next favorite is the vegan dinner kebab by the Royal Kebab House, which is located at the Central Station in Munich. I didn't even know this place existed until my friend told me about it, so Matthias and I I decided to go there and give it a try. Apart from the regular meat-based kebab, they also have a vegan version. It's 100% vegan and it's made from wheat protein. We didn't eat in the restaurant itself on that day because it was super hot. It had like 30 degrees Celsius outside. It was really hot in that little place, so we went to a beer garden nearby. And I have to say, I was super surprised by how delicious this vegan kebab was. It doesn't taste like a substitute for a meat dish. It really tastes like its own thing. It was super delicious. The ingredients were really fresh. The seasoning was perfect. It was slightly spicy and the wheat protein was really delicious. It had a great consistency like it wasn't too limp or too chewy. We also tried two of the desserts they offered there and I asked the lady if they're vegan and she said yes. But when I was eating it I was pretty sure that there's honey on there so that doesn't make it vegan. But apart from that it was really nice. Overall I'm very happy with the experience. I think the prices are fair so for both of the donut kebabs and the two desserts we paid 12 euros which I think is a really fair price so if you're ever at the central station in Munich and you're hungry and you just want a nice vegan meal definitely try the vegan donut kebab my next favorite for this month was the documentary consumed inside the belly of the beast which is from 2011 and it's basically about the modern consumerist culture and our constant urge to buy more and better things. I like the part where they say, you know, in the 1950s it was all about owning a washing machine or a vacuum cleaner, but nowadays it's not about that anymore. It's about the brand and it's about owning the right brands and the most expensive brands. Essentially it all boils down to the problem that nowadays we are all fed, we have housing, we don't have to worry about our health anymore because we have health insurance. At the end of the day, there is not much more for us to do but to preoccupy our minds with something as meaningless as going shopping. If you are interested in this topic as well, just check the info box because I put a link to the documentary there so you can watch it online for free. I'm not sure if that is legal but it's there and you can watch it and that's what I did and yeah. My next favorite is this Ayurvedic toothpaste. My friend from Sri Lanka brought me this to try and it's made from only natural ingredients. There is no fluoride in there, no preservatives, no chemicals, no dye products, no bleach, no nothing. The funny thing is when you open it up and look at it, like the paste itself is brown, it has this muddy color. Even when you brush your teeth with it, it looks like you have a lot of mud in your mouth. After each use, my teeth feel super clean, my mouth feels super super fresh and also my tongue like when I look at it it's like super pink and very clean I can definitely recommend you this toothpaste it says on the packaging here that you can use it twice a day my friend recommended me to not do that and use it maybe three to four times a week which is what I'm doing right now because I do feel like if you were to use it a little more it might be a little too abrasive another favorite of mine is a long-term study about healthy aging and in this study they looked at the diets of more than 1.5 
5,000 people and they looked at their diets and they tried to identify the different factors that can cause certain diseases like cancer or heart disease. And surprisingly, it wasn't the sugar or maybe the fat content. It was actually their fiber intake that played the most important role. As it turned out, those who had the highest intake of fiber in their diet had an 80% higher likelihood of living a healthy disease-free life and if you don't know what dietary fiber is that is basically a type of carbohydrate the body cannot digest so it's basically plant fibers that you can only find in fruits vegetables legumes and in whole grain foods in short only in vegan foods and my last favorite for you guys is the british lab accelerate this is the first lab to conduct 100 cruelty free animal free cosmetic tests they are basically the first to use human skin cells to make a synthetic piece of skin which they can use to test cosmetics on if you are thinking now wait a minute there have been a bunch of alternative methods to animal testing way before that you are right about that but the thing is and I didn't know that either these methods were never 100% cruelty free because they always required some form of animal products whether that is their blood or maybe extracts from their liver but this method is actually the very first one to not require any animal product so as you can imagine i am super excited about this if you want to learn more about this topic definitely check the info box because that's where i have some interesting blog posts on the subject so these were my recommendations for the month of june 2016 if you guys have any recommendations for me please leave them in the comment box thank you very very much for watching today's video and then I will see you next week in a new video. Bye!